sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. Guys, what is that? We're back. Yeah, we got an album today. I'm excited for this one. We've got The Driver Era. They released an album called Girlfriend. This one came out mid-October last year. I did one video on the single called Heaven Angel, which can I say? I did that video ages ago. It feels like it was ages ago. Um, and Heaven Angel has been on repeat for two weeks. Like, currently. So, I'm in love with this song. It's great. It's gotten me excited to listen to this album. This one's been a long time coming. This is what the album looks like. It's called Girlfriend, Ross Lynch. <laughs> we love Ross. Shout out Austin and Ali. Alright, here we go. This is Heart of Mine. album art for this. I love the black and white and the green text. I think it looks great. I love that it looks like a fish fish eye lens. It might be, but it also doesn't and it's a bit warped, but it looks like a normal photo. They hit it. They hit it. I love it. Heart of Mine was so great to intro the album. Like, I really fucking love that song. Like, that, it just, it just feels good. It's just a, like, it's just a like, cute song. Like, it feels good, it sounds good, it's upbeat, but it's not sad. It's like, it's just a nice intro. And I love when people intro the album with something that, like, sticks with me. Like, when I think about first songs on the album, I'm thinking in my head, woman, doja cat, planet her. Like, that just gets you in the groove. It gets you in the mood for the rest of it, and I love it. Now we've got crazy... Babe? Cra crazy baby? I don't know, it's spelt a bit interesting. Ooh. These guys are so interesting. Hey, it's baby, baby, when did you come from? Yes. I'm so focused on his vocals, although this instrumental is a bit like, it's a bit fucked. Like, it's a bit... It's a bit in and out. It's not it's not consistent. It's just it sounds very experimental like they were just having fun in the studio. Th this didn't sound like a planned song to me. Maybe the lyrics were, but everything else is kind of just like, yeah, let's just see how it goes. <laughs> Crazy Baby was like, I love his voice in it and his runs. Bitch, do it again. Do it again. I want to hear on more songs cuz he sounds so great. Now we've got Leave Me Feeling Confident. What genre is this? Like, is it like indie pop? I loved how simple Leave Me Confident was. Like, it was just like, they make these songs and they're nothing like... The songs that they make aren't crazy in your face. They're just like a great level of like, fun, right? But groovy. Because you just sit there and you just kind of want to just like, just like bop the whole time. Because it's just like, it's so pleasing and they do it so well. And it's, it feels so effortless. And I want to know if like, when they're making these, if it is that effortless. Because it just sounds it. Now we've got Beautiful Girl. Each song sounds so different, but you can tell there's like a little, th like there's the same theme going through them. And it's like, I don't even, I don't think I've heard something this like creative in a while. This just, I don't know what, it just makes me think of like the 1975's first album, which is their self-titled, the 1975 album. 
And it just, because it feels like they're using so many instruments and really just trying to create something new and cool. Because, like, nothing I've heard so far sounds like this. And that's why I really, like, enjoy it and, I'm res and I respect it. Because I know the next song I'm going to click, it's going to be something new and different too. And it just makes me eager. So, like, these guys are doing so great and I love this so far. Now we've got number one fan. Well, I, 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 you're just my type. These, like, these songs just make me so intrigued to see how they perform them live because there's so many instruments and so many different, like, elements. I'm just like, how do they logistically do this? Like, I want to see it. I feel like this is a band that you're going to want to see live because it would just be such, like, a different and cool experience. album more popular like I'm only like I'm not even halfway but I'm like this shit should be like people should not need to know about this like why don't they now we've got heaven angel I fucking I love this song it sounds great let's listen to it oh. ready for the bass yes so good it's like how like that is my favorite probably i'm biased right i've heard this song before i've been listening to it for a couple weeks like i just love it it just sounds so fresh and like mm, good now we've got when you need a man reason they're not like a super popular band is because they don't make songs with you know the normal pop diagram of what you're meant to do you know you got the intro pre-chorus chorus fucking and then it replays again and then you add the bridge in the middle at the end and then you finish it and you just repeat 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 they don't follow that that diagram they don't they don't follow that at all which is why i think they're not as popular as quite a few other like bands out there but I also love that they're not that popular because I feel like their music stays more authentic and there's less pressure and they just make what they want and then we get this good stuff so it's kind of like a bit of a juxtaposition big word good and bad for both ends but I love this Ross's like voice in the chorus just like grabs me like I don't know what it is actually I think I do it's probably because I've heard this man sing since I was like I don't even know 14 maybe when Austin and Ali came out like probably earlier I don't even know but like I love it I love it now we've got please don't come around an interlude I don't mind an interlude all right we're gonna let that run and then we're gonna go into oh my god please don't come around oh okay so Places. This feels like 80s. I'm, I'm 
I'm like so interested in what effects they use to manipulate their voices because they sound the same but you can tell in some of the songs in certain sections there's like a little almost like a filter over it like an auto-tune people would say I don't know if that's the exact one but like it's so interesting how they alter them a little bit to sound a certain way for one song and then bring it all the way back for another I love that like you can just tell there's so much care put into this album which is why I'm a bit annoyed it's not like as popular as maybe it should be now we've got a kiss Ooh, it's a long one. song like this, I'm not gonna lie, I really was. And they brought it! Finally! Oh, where's the bridge going? Yes! I'm actually kind of surprised this song hasn't blown up on TikTok yet. I feel like people would love this. Maybe soon. I hope soon. Now we've got Fade. Shakespeare said before that when your beauty fades, bad days make good days better. Great minds have bad days too. Bad days make good days better. Great minds have bad days too. Fade surprised me. I went into it and I was like, okay, I think I know what's gonna happen, and then it switched up on me. And I'm happy about it. Now we've got flash drive. So from my blood, till I feel love, when there's too much, now I'm fucked up. I'm oh, what the fuck? They've got 15 songs on this album. Which I'm gonna say, <laughs> I've been doing this for a little bit, right? <laughs> I think 12 is probably the perfect amount, maybe 13, because it's so easy to fall off in the last couple, or for some of them just to not be at the same standard as some others. They've got 15 songs, and they all sound so different, but it's so great. And that is so hard to do. I listen to so many albums where I'm like, this just doesn't, like, the first two were amazing, the last four were crap. And this is not what we have here. This is not that sad case. This is a happy one. Like, this is best case scenario, and I want to make that clear because it's very rare that this happens. So I'm really, like, appreciating this as much as I can because it's a rarity. It is. This doesn't happen every day. This doesn't happen every week when I do this, you know? I love that instrumental. Hear that guitar? Shut up. But now we've got Take Me Away. I want to know how long this album took to make. Album. Guys, I love that shit. Ah, it hits. They love this from drums, don't they? They're heavy on the drums, this album. Ooh. The guitar in the back. Alright, lucky last. Now we've got Forever Always. I would love for this to be just like a piano ballad. I know it's not going to be, but that would be like pretty nice. Oh. 
sounds a bit folky. I also want to say they do this often where it's like the instruments overpower the vocals. And for some people that can be annoying, but for me it's like I like it makes sense why they're doing it because it fits with the whole album and that it's so much more of like how the instruments make you feel in here than the lyrics, I think. I like that the ending song is cute. Oh, I love that guitar at the end. Yes, guys, that's it. That's Girlfriend. That's the album. Am I, like, a bit surprised? Yeah. Did I love it? Yeah. <laughs> like, they did a great job. I thought that was so sick. Please let me know what you thought in the comments. Um, I hope you guys like the video, and I'll see you very soon. Bye! <laughs>